Hi guys. Well, imagine this. It is now August after the rainiest July probably in Finger Lakes history. It is now Sunday, August 1st. August 1st, 2021, where it is 61 degrees at pretty much 4 o'clock in the afternoon on August 1st. 61 degrees here at Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, I am off on this depressing wrist slitting fucking day uh, to head to the laundromat by myself. The, the, the single most depressing activity on the planet to do by yourself. More depressing than eating alone. Going to the fucking laundromat on a uh, on a rainy Sunday afternoon in the end times just uh, you know just the truly the the throat slitting uh, thought of, of heading to a fucking laundromat alone uh, here in the end times is uh, anyway bringing me to this guys so today, being August 1st, of course, I, I know that you know, all of you folks know what that means. Uh, it is two months ago today, two months ago today that Dulcinea, uh, my chosen Doomer Chick Forever, uh, stood me up, you know, ghosted me and did not show up at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, as she promised and uh, left me with this broken heart. And so I am halfway through my summer today. I at the halfway point between May 1st and November 1st. So uh, I have been waiting for two months. I've been keeping the candle burning in the window for Dulcinea. Uh, no sign of Dulcinea, although I do see that Dulcinea did leave a comment on one of my videos this morning. So uh, I know that Dulcinea, I'm 100% sure that Dulcinea is still watching all my videos. And I am also 100% sure that Dulcinea is still in love with me. I, I am just arrogant and egotistical enough to know that the woman that I have chosen to be my Doomer Chick forever still wants to be my Doomer Chick forever. That she is still in love with me and the only thing standing between Dulce Chick, Dulce Chick, Dulcinea of being my Doomer Chick forever and not being my Doomer Chick forever. Well, of course, besides her husband, I, you know, there is that little, little, but, but besides a husband, uh, which uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, that's, uh, I guess that's their problem, is that is fear, that she is choosing fear over love. Dulcinea knows goddamn well that I am the man that she has been waiting for her, her for her life just as I know that she is the woman that I have been waiting for since the day I was born. Uh, I know I've told this story, if, uh, if not publicly, certainly to Dulcinea. Uh, when I first saw Dulcinea on YouTube, and the video is still out there uh, to this minute, you can find Dulcinea on YouTube singing Hambone's praises. I had never heard of this woman in my entire life. It was two years ago, two years and two months ago, I guess, or has it been three years now? I think two years ago that uh, Sandy, uh, Sandy uh, emailed me and said, Hambone, uh, I think you need to tune in to this video, and there is your Doomer Chick Forever. So, you know, I clicked on this video, which I still click on occasionally, and uh, you too can go click on this video and see the woman that has knocked Hambone for a loop. 
uh, if you just know how to find it. Uh, and I knew within 30 seconds that this was the woman that I've been waiting for for my entire life. And uh, then when I actually met her in, uh, in uh, October of 2019, when, you know, I was, I was walking down the sidewalk with my little dog and Dulcinea, she stepped, I guess, out of some sort of little cross street from the left and turned towards me when the first time I saw this woman uh, in real life uh, other than her videos which she has taken down now her channel no longer exists apparently uh, and, and this woman came into view she was holding a little chihuahua when she came into view, I, I, I mean, it was Cupid's arrow. Uh, I have never in my life uh, been, I, I, I mean, from a hundred feet out, uh, Cupid's arrow slammed into my little Doomer Hambone heart, and I knew that I was looking at my soulmate. There you go, it's that simple, that this is the woman uh, that uh, I had been waiting for for my entire life. So we went and had lunch and we were taking a walk in a cemetery after lunch and she was gabbing about some, uh, I think it was some succubus sitting on her chest uh, flossing his teeth. She was in, in, involved in some, we were sitting on a tombstone and she was telling me about this succubus, or is it an incubus, sitting on her chest, uh, flossing his teeth. And as fascinating as the story was, I remember stopping her and saying, Dulcinea, there is something I have to tell you. And she goes, well, what's that? And I said, darling, I have loved you since the moment I laid eyes on you. I have been in love with you since the moment I laid eyes on you, you know, and just knew you were alive on this planet. And I have been in love with you since the day I first saw your beautiful face and you are the woman. You are the woman I have been waiting for since the day I was born. Is what I told Dulcinea in uh, October of 2019, and that sentiment has not changed one iota, uh, despite the living hell this woman has put me through. Uh, the absolute living hell of unrequited love, unrequited love. I, I mean, Romeo and Juliet have nothing uh, on Hambone and Dulcinea. And uh, the last words, you know, words, spoken words, I heard out of Dulcinea's mouth uh, a week before she ghosted me and did not show up here to be my doomer chick forever is uh i'm just calling to tell you i love you for what that's worth and uh those were the last words that i have ever heard out of dulcinea's mouth although she has left a couple of comments on my videos recently including the one this morning this morning uh, two months to the day after she was supposed to be in my arms here for the rest of my life, at least she uh, is still leaving, uh, leaving comments on my videos, so that's nice to know. Uh, but anyway, guys, so, you know, I am kind of... I've been trying to figure out for about three years now what the fuck I'm going to do with 
Humpty Dumpty tribe, you know, I've, I've moved uh, all of that Doomer shit over to, uh, over to Collapse Chronicles, you know, where I get five times the views for that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell uh, gets five times the views that I do over here in Humpty Dumpty Tribe. You know, before Corona Panic, I was averaging about 2,000 views per video over here, and since Corona Panic, uh, about 90% of my viewership has disappeared, and so I've just been floundering around with this channel, wondering whether to just kill the channel uh, put Hambone Little Tail out of his fucking misery and uh, deciding what to do with it. Now, part of me, uh, you know, wants to make this channel a Corona Panic channel to offer a little bit of intelligent commentary, you know, and, and open up the debate about the Corona Panic as the entire planet is all corona panic all the time uh, but I but I understand two things number one is that there is absolutely nothing I can say to anybody on this planet to change their mind one iota from the position they hold on corona panic and the, you, you know this is what I don't get about all of this shit everybody has already made their mind up I don't give a fuck uh, about whatever they say. You already know there's nothing I'm going to fucking say uh, about Corona Panic uh, that, that's going to swerve one person uh, off of their off of their previously uh, held position on it. And then, of course, if I do just barely question, barely question, not even challenge, and, and one more time, I am not a Corona Panic anti-vaxxer. I am an anti-masker, not an anti-vaxxer. Uh, but if I go on and, and try to bring some intelligent debate uh, into this subject, uh, you know, uh, YouTube will pull down my channel. I've got one strike against me. I will be accused of spreading medical misinformation by questioning, barely sticking my little toe into this pointless distraction and debate. So uh, obviously YouTube has just, uh, I've just surrendered to, uh, to the fucking YouTube bots. So I can't turn my channel into a Corona Panic channel Nobody has any interest in hearing about my little gardening videos and me and, and my life at Bugs in a Jar. Uh, nobody has any fucking interest in me offering through my own life just an example of an, a, a, another way to live your life. Nobody gives a fuck uh, about 50% of what my channel, both my channels are all about and that is to get out there and enjoy it while you still can. The getting out there and enjoying it while you still can videos, nobody gives a fuck about getting out there and enjoying it while they still can. They want their fucking doom and gloom, and I've taken that over to Collapse Chronicles. So go over there uh, and, 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 you know, and listen to that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell, uh, if you want that doom and gloom. So I'm trying to figure out what the fuck do I do with this channel? What is the highest and best use of this channel? And I have come up with this. So guys, I'm just making the announcement. The, uh, this is the ham bone, uh, disclaimer that this isn't going to be, it's not going to be 100% of my channel, but the major focus of my channel for the next 90 days, between now and November 1st, is to convince Dulcinea to choose love over fear and take the plunge and do what she knows she needs to do, knows she wants to do, 
Uh, she, uh, the woman knows, she, the Dulcinea is a lot of things, but stupid is not one of them. Uh, th this, uh, this woman knows God damn well uh, that she wants to be with me and that she needs to be with me. She just has to uh, just fucking uh, ball up the courage to walk away from her little comfort trap and, uh, and, and, and take the risk uh, of what would be involved in uh, being hambone little tails, doom or chick forever. She knows she wants to do this. She knows she needs to do this. That if she does not make this choice, that uh, she's just uh, guaranteed to live the rest of her fucking life in her little comfort trap uh, down there in suburbia. Uh, you know, uh, playing this fucking masquerade, uh, I, I guess, about being some happily married little fucking housewife Whatever the fucking game you're playing, Dulcinea, you're not fooling me, you're not fooling yourself, you're not fooling your fucking husband. You might be fooling some of your friends. But, uh, darling, it, it's up to you, and, and uh, all I can do is, is sit here and, and hammer away at Dulcinea uh, that I am the man who loves her. Uh, and, and if uh, all you need is love, then uh, she's going to get it from Hambone Littletail. This is the woman, uh, the, the, this Dulcinea-sized hole in my heart, it is the biggest thing missing in my life. Uh, you know, I've done everything I can to show this woman this, you know, this beautiful, a uh, little nest that I have uh, made made her up here. Uh, Any time she wants to uh, step out of her little comfort trap and let go of the bank and, and let the universe carry her along. You know, uh, Dulcinea, you're going to turn 50 years old in the next 90 days. It was, uh, you know, it, it was when I let go of the bank uh, and let the universe take me away, uh, you know, back in 2008. It was when I was 49 years old, when I was a few months shy of my 50th birthday uh, with the help of five grams of psilocybin mushrooms and some ayahuasca and San Pedro cactus. Uh, you, you know, where I did some serious inner work with myself and I understood that this little comfort trap that I was living in, you, you know, down there in Austin, Texas in my little suburban dream home, going about my fucking little real estate career and everything else, uh, that it had run its course and uh, that it was time to get out there and experience life. It was obviously uh, the most terrifying decision I ever made. And, uh, but I, I can't say I have no regrets, but by far the single biggest regret that, that I have made uh, about my decision uh, when I was Dulcinea's age, uh, pretty much exactly her age, uh, where I made the decision to uh, pull the plug on the dominant cultural paradigm. Uh, Dulcinea knows goddamn well uh, that this dominant cultural paradigm is sucking the soul right out of her body and uh, she needs to get out uh, of it. And I am offering her, uh, this, this is an, you know, a once in a lifetime 
opportunity from the universe to step out of your damn uh, little comfort trap and come get a taste of life. And you know, heading into uh, you know November uh, when the cold winds blow, and I head out of here. You know, since all of this shit went down in Florida, I cannot return to my place in Florida. I have no fucking clue what uh, I am going to do for six months. No fucking clue. From November to May, when I come back up here, my life is a blank canvas. I am wide open to suggestion. Uh, I have nothing but time on my hands, and while I, I'm not exactly a millionaire, I've got enough money uh, to keep from starving. Uh, Dulcinea, uh, you are not going to starve, uh, whatever. We, we have a six-month blank slate. I have uh, my truck and my little camper, the USS Maggie May, is, is hooked up, hitched to a star. And uh, the, the very thought uh, of heading out of here alone, uh, dragging around the USS Maggie May uh, with me, the, uh, the, the very thought of, of how depressing it is gonna be to pull out of here uh, without you uh, in the seat beside me instead of a pile of dirty fucking laundry. Uh, the, 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 the very thought uh, of uh, those six months alone, to, you, you know, driving around with my thumb up my ass. Uh, name what you want to do. Uh, let's go have an adventure. We could have, uh, you know, a crazy adventure. But anyway, for the rest of you, uh, I, I, I don't give a fuck who wants to listen to these. So what I am going to be doing, and I am going to, uh, they are going to be called the Dulcinea monologues. Because that's what they are. Whenever you see the Dulcinea monologues, what it is, I am looking for one I am making that video for one human being. Anybody else, all of you little voyeurs are welcome to take a peek uh, in, into Hambone's twisted romantic fantasies uh, of, of this doomer chick forever. You know, this chaotic uh, quest that I'm on to convince my Dulcinea to join me on my life of knight errantry. Uh, you know, as Don Quixote and Sancho Panza uh, go on with their chaotic quest uh, trying to convince uh, Dulcinea to come join me. I've got three fucking months. I'm going to do everything I can. The highest and best use of this channel is to convince Dulcinea to, uh, to start the next chapter in her life. Uh, darling, uh, I cannot promise you the level of creature comforts that you are enjoying. Uh, uh, I can promise you, you are not going to starve to death. You are not going to freeze to death. Uh, and you will be with a man who loves you because I don't think you're with a man who loves you or uh, appreciates uh, what, what you have to bring him and, and this planet. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I don't know anything about your marriage other than the few things you've told me, but what I've heard about it, it sounds to me like uh, that, that you're just a little piece of, uh, of arm candy. That, uh, that, that you're basically being used, uh, you know, to put out this, uh, th th this fucking masquerade uh, th that you guys are, are happily married. 
Uh, I, I just, I, I, you're, you're not the picture uh, of a, of a happily married woman. And, uh, so anyway, just letting you guys know that starting on August, from August 1st, 2021 to November 1st, for the next 90 days, uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe is going to turn into the Dulcinea Chronicles. I am disabling comments. I, I don't need to hear from my MGTOW buddies, from my negative MGTOW buddies, uh, about the horrible mistake I am making in my life. I'm a grown man. I know what I am doing. I, 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 I know the definition of chaotic. This is the most foolhardy thing I have ever attempted, but I don't know what else to do. I, I love this woman, and uh, I want her in my life. And until, uh, and until Dulcinea uh, is in my life, uh, I, I'm just going to go around being a, a, you know, an unfulfilled, uh, depressed collapsitarian with a Dulcinea-sized hole in my heart. Uh, so Dulcinea, if, you, you know, if, if, if what you want to do, if, if you're concerned about me uh, and, and you want to take care of a man uh, who loves you, uh, you have a man. Uh, right here to take care of all you need to take care of me is to be here and uh, and, and let me love you uh, and uh, help me with this fucking load of wash I, I will uh, tell you what Dulcinea if you just if you show up uh, at the Hambone Hilton I will install a washing machine okay we will celebrate your arrival uh, by installing a washing machine at the Hambone Hilton and with an uh, offer like that how can any woman say no to the offer of a washing machine in the garage anyway uh, darling I love you. Uh, I want you to be with me till the day I die. Uh, and that's really all that matters. And for the rest of you uh, people who just want to come along for the sick, twisted ride, uh, welcome aboard. But keep your comments to yourself. And with that, I am going to wrap up the introduction to the Dulcinea Chronicles. And uh, the next one I post is going to be a, a video I made for Dulcinea on April 25th. You know, five days before she was supposed to show up here at Bugs in a Jar Farm to be my Doomer Chick forever, but right now I need to find the laundromat. There's the coin laundry. All right, open 24 hours. I have never been to this uh, laundromat in my life. Oh God, here we go. A laundromat on a rainy Sunday afternoon while I sit here and dream of the woman I love. Bye guys. Bye darling. You know where to find me.